Hey guys, Deva here and today we are going to list 5 possible ways to survive the Eschaton Judgment that we saw on the Developer Diary 6. 3 of those are 100% guaranteed to work and 2 of them are speculations that will also work by the current game mechanics, but on them I have the fear that Capcom will change it to make it harder. You can see on the video that it takes less than 2 seconds to burn through a whole health boost 3 full HP bar. This is a guaranteed death if you have no idea how to respond to it, fast reaction times and proper builds. That's why I want to at least help you reducing cars to some extent. What we don't know is if it's actually heat damage like Lunastra Supernova and if fire resistance or fireproof mantle would help against it. And also if there is actually different Eschaton judgments depending on its element he's shifting to. For example that one being the fire and when he's shifting to thunder having a kind of uh, Namiel supernova. So here is way number one to avoid it and probably the safest bet. On the video you can see that the guy fully heals himself up with a max potion and tries to take a second one but he has not enough time. So is it possible on that small window to spam max potions? It kind of is debatable unless some resistance does slow it down even by half a second than shown in the video. Here I made a frame by frame comparison and maybe if you do it frame perfect it will work. However it requires speed eating 3 and rolling after you take a max potion. Rolling after any consumable items gives you faster recovery from eating animations. But this must be done without any delay and also having fast reaction time when it happens. Also don't stop moving, when moving you can consume items much faster than standing still. But here is how it will work 100% of the time. I totally forgot about the existence of this gadget because I haven't used it since high rank. Just place down one affinity booster or multiple if you have communication with your team. This may not completely negate the damage but it will give you enough time to heal yourself with max potions. Don't forget to upgrade the health booster by doing specific quests and that will cover a much bigger area. Imagine if Capcom will block you from using health boosters during the animations. You will definitely die and I'm sorry for making this tip. Number 2 is in my opinion the best and this way you can prevent the whole team from carting even if the other players don't do absolutely anything. This does also require health booster for it to work since you're mostly short by half a second chaining up healing items. You probably remember my Sarah Jerky tip from the previous video. This item turns the red portion of your HP bar into green which in this case has the same effect as max potion but with one big benefit. If you use just a single level of white range this effect will apply to all players. The description is 33% of its efficiency but this can't be applied on this item since it literally just recovers uh, red health. This means it will recover everyone's HP bar fully. The only problem on white range 1 is that the range of its effect is tiny so you will need communication or make them join your health booster radius. But you can slightly extend that with level 2 or 3. It will be very beneficial if everyone in the team runs 1 or 2 levels of white range which is a super safe bet to never die healing each other infinitely. You also require here speed eating 3 as well. Number 3 is probably the most obvious way and depends on you and your team. All you have to do is get good and deal damage. Just deal damage. On the video they mentioned you have to use elemental weapons to suppress the Nova but I'm still in disbelief for that. When Capcom says stuff like that it usually translates to literally just deal damage, doesn't matter what kind of, uh, but we will know if that's true one day after Latrin is out. So for now you can go through my previous videos, I have covered bunch of elemental and non-elemental counter builds for Latron. Counter builds as seen have somewhat of preparation against him. The last two points are not guaranteed to work if Capcom decides to be mean. Number 4 is far casting. There is an item called Farcaster that will teleport you back to camp when used. The problem here is Capcom could block it during the animation so it doesn't allow you to go back to camp. For example on Safi Jiva it works but on Behemoth Ecliptic Meteor you cannot take any items. But it will be weird blocking out just one skill because in the footage we can see he's able to use any item and none has a red X on them. This will be the safest and easiest option if it actually would work. Number 5 and last possible way to avoid it is by spamming dive jumps. 
For this you have to face the opposite direction of the monster, hold the sprint button and press the await or dodge button. During this jump you are normally invincible to any kind of damage till you're back on your feet. And when that happens you can just chain as many dive jumps as you want. This should allow you to survive till it's over. There is a charm that extends the distance and allows you to do it on the monster's direction as well, but in my opinion that doesn't help you at all so I wouldn't waste a charm slot for that. Because you still have the same invincibility frames, I think. These were pretty much all the ways I can think of, so if you have any other ideas to help me or other players, please leave a comment down below and I will pin it if it's a solid way to survive Eschaton's judgment. Be sure to also leave a like if you enjoy my content, it really helps a lot and also don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any updates regarding Alatron's guides and builds. And with that said, I wish you all a nice day and happy hunting guys.